Oh, jeez. Get, get the extinguisher. What the? Oh. Hey, call 911. The smell of burning flesh, even after 20 years, you don't forget. 20 years? Desert storm. OK, thanks. Then our owner didn't see anything. She, she was checking for tire tracks. An empty can of turpentine in the dumpster. Check this out. Bra strap, which narrows down the ID to half of the population. Killer's making us earn our paycheck. One thing they never learn, they can burn, dump, and run, but they can't hide. Jane Doe is white, early 20s, five foot nine. Blunt force trauma to the head. Nails it down. Did I say it was done? She had recent extensions. It's human hair. The weave is close to the scalp, I'd say within a week. I get all tingly when you're specific, Rogers. I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah. This is a high-end job. It's natural blonde hair, and the attachments are knotted, not glued. Loops. Found a key in her jacket pocket, stamped West Village Hardware. OK, assuming people have their keys made in their neighborhood, she lived in the village. And where she got her hair done. Looks like my work, what's left of it. What happened to her head? Nothing good. She was in her 20s, 5'9". Uh, sounds like my Saturday, 4.30. She was a walk-in. Uh, great cheekbones. Only left her first name, Brenna. She, uh, she paid in cash for full-length blonde wefts. Wondering if anyone observed anything about this passenger, Brenna Lane or her unidentified companion. She checked in for a 348 flight to DC from gate 45. Anyone notice them outside, entering or exiting a vehicle? A vehicle was double parked in the passenger loading zone. A guy and girl got in and took off. Hmm. What kind of vehicle? A delivery van from a flower shop. Brenda's dump show calls to a florist in Brooklyn Heights. That's right. All right, thanks. Excuse me. Is your van? I drive it for my boss. OK, why don't you put your plants down? You got some ID? Uh, sure. Thank you. Dustin Henry, we need to talk to you. Let's take a what ride. What are you doing? I, I'm the owner here. What's going on? Parking violations. Uh, so he'll be back soon, right? I, I, I got a half dozen deliveries. You're going to have to make them yourself, sir. I'm sorry I parked in the terminal. I'll be more than happy to pay a ticket. <laughs> this is a lot bigger than a ticket. Why'd you sneak past security? I had to catch my sister before she got on the plane. Your sister? You two have different last names. She changed her name for modeling. Why was Brenna going to Washington? She had a job there. You busted through security to stop your sister from taking a modeling gig. I was supposed to feed the cat when she was gone, and she forgot to leave me the key. So why not just give you the key and go on and catch her flight? Because she couldn't find it. Anyway, it was just a catalog shoot. She decided it wasn't worth it. When was the last time you talked to her? I dropped her off at her apartment. What about the Saturday before? I was at a party with Brenna. Where? Uh, Gracie Mansion. Pretty fancy. Who invited you? Um, no one, really. We, uh, we crashed it. Brenna heard that there were going to be famous people there, and it uh, sounded like fun. You and Brenna, you had an argument when you were there? I wanted to leave, and she didn't want to go yet. I mean, it wasn't anything. Brenna's dead. Um, what? When? She was murdered Monday night. You know anyone who might have wanted to hurt her? Where were you that night? Um, I was at home by myself. It, 
Is my sister really dead? Sorry. We entertain at home all the time. Fundraisers, receptions. People like to drink, and I like to be a good hostess, so... We must order, I don't know, a couple hundred cases of wine a year. Any idea how Dustin Henry came into possession of 20 of those cases? Dustin Henry? He's a driver for James Weir Floral. They do your events? Yep, the Single Blossom centerpieces. Hmm, and this person is their driver? Mm -hmm. Ah, well, there must be some misunderstanding. Oh, okay, uh, thank you for your time. Of course. Well, unless the wine was a bribe to keep Dustin quiet about the senator's affair with Brenna. So maybe Brenna was upset at her brother for asking to be paid off. We arrested your girlfriend, Andrea, for murder. Police found cat hairs in a car she rented that were a DNA match for the cat in Brenna's apartment. I've been saying all along, my client is innocent. Well, there's still the matter of the bloody kitty litter in Dustin's closet. Which Andrea Wheaton could have easily planted while Dustin was at work. Is that what happened, Dustin? Sure, yeah. So you believe that the woman you're in love with tried to frame you? I'm not in love with her. But Andrea is the one you were having an affair with. If he agrees to testify against Andrea, Will you drop the charges? Well, I need a lot more than shrugs and not answers. Did, did Andrea tell you that she killed Brenna? Just leave me alone. You don't have to protect her anymore. Leave me alone. Let me talk to my client. He'll cooperate. I'm getting whiplash keeping up with this kid. Two days ago, he was sobbing with love for some mystery woman, and now I tell him we've arrested Andrea Wheaton, and he barely reacts. No, well, meanwhile, the trail of financial improprieties keeps growing. I found a check for $4,000 written to Fifth Avenue Plastic Surgery. Well, Dustin doesn't look like he needs cosmetic surgery. Neither does Andrea, for that matter. Well, maybe it was something subtle. Why didn't she mention that in her mea culpa? Uh, Dr. Kazurahi is booked solid for the next six months. I do have a cancellation on Wednesday. That could work. And what is the procedure that you're interested in? Um. This is delicate. An acquaintance of mine is a patient, and uh, she looks fantastic. And you don't want to come right out and ask her what she's had done. We get that all the time. Yeah, she probably wrote the check out of her corporation a couple months ago, uh, 508 Montague Street. Uh, as long as I'm not revealing her name. Uh, here it is, a prepayment. Um, her surgery isn't scheduled until next month. That's right, she has more than one doctor. She was very excited about her upcoming procedure with Kastaragi. I want that one too. Are you sure? Vaginoplasty is usually done on a woman who's had more than one vaginal delivery or is postmenopausal. And that's not Andrea Wheaton. And there's also the disbursement for bioidentical hormones from the uh, Eternal Eve Wellness Center in California. It all points to an older woman looking to make herself more sexually attractive. And there's only one woman with access to the senator's money and wine who fits the bill. Are you suggesting his wife is having an affair with a 20-year-old? Well, it would explain why Dustin wasn't concerned when we arrested Andrea. My lawyers would have my head if they knew we were here. But my wife and I have nothing to hide, Mr. Cutter. Well, we're about to start Andrea Wheaton's murder trial, and you'll all be witnesses. We need to get some facts straight. Mrs. Peterson, you've met Dustin Henry before? The delivery boy. I, I barely know him. Is that true, Dustin? Yes. Yeah, I only know Mrs. Peterson from the florists. OK. So when did you begin your affair with Andrea Wheaton? Uh, about a year ago. Brenna said it was bad for me. I'll be asking you about this in court to prove Andrea's motive, so you need to tell me right now about the sex that you were having with her chapter and verse, okay? Don't. Was she into oral or anal, maybe, or something uh, more kinky? I can't do this. Well, why? Why, does it disgust you to talk about your lovemaking with Andrea? More to the point, why did you make a down payment for vaginoplasty out of your wine shop account? What has any of this got to do with me and my wife? We're getting to that, Senator. 